Here's what's making news at midday. Upcoming alert days are expected to cause major headaches for travelers across the Midwest. What you can expect in your area. And the Henry Vila Zoo lights have also been impacted by the weather. The zoo has canceled shows for the rest of this week. We'll tell you what to do if you already bought tickets. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday. Mark will be back on Monday. The weather is the big story today. Extreme cold, wind, and snow all making its way to Wisconsin. Let's check in with meteorologist Greg Barnhart with a closer look at the weather alert days. Greg? Yeah, pretty much the calm is right now through this evening, but then things start really ramping up tonight, but really tomorrow. So we'll have a first line of snow come through tonight, but then the strong winds, the temperatures fall, the wind chills and the power outages, all that's really tomorrow afternoon through Friday. Really, it's good. That's going to be the story. Not so much the snow we're going to get. It's actually the wind that's going to get. Right now, snow is actually already approaching Minneapolis and western areas into Iowa, too. That's the first band that's going to start coming through here. We started off pretty cold today, but we're going to start increasing our temperatures up to the teens here right now we're still in the single digits after being single digits below zero around Dane County we're right now up to nine degrees of Mount Horb we should get up to about the upper teens here this afternoon driving wise looks good through this afternoon best shot to get gas filled up and all those things taken care of snow comes in later this evening overnight snow too so we could see some road conditions However, we won't see the wind tonight. That's the big story. Bigger picture, there's already blizzard warnings to the west. That's for the ground blizzard conditions. We have more winter storm warnings to in Wisconsin and probably more watches to the east that will probably be upgraded here a little bit later today. So definitely impacting the whole Midwest. There's just the storm starting to form. Doesn't look that impressive. You can see the cold air behind it. That's also coming. I'll time out when we'll expect to see the snow and how cold those wind chills will get tomorrow a bit later in the broadcast. Still time to get to the grocery store today Definitely and get every, everything you yes. need done. <laughs> All right, Greg, we'll check back in just a little bit. Thank you. Meanwhile, the Wisconsin Department of Transportation is urging drivers to stay off the roads if you can. Tomorrow and Friday, they say low visibility, strong winds, as Greg was just mentioning, and extreme cold will make driving hazardous. If you must travel and you end up getting stuck, it's important that you don't get out of your vehicle if you're stuck on a busy road. If you can, call 911. Be prepared to describe your location and what happened to you. Do not try to shovel yourself free so you don't tire yourself out. Run your engine in brief periods to stay warm and keep your inside dome lights on to help rescue crews find you easier. For more tips, look for this story on channel. 3000.com. Travelers heading out today are in, uh, are in luck. If you head out today, mostly all of the flights from the Dane County Regional Airport are scheduled to leave on time so far. Tomorrow and Friday may be a different story as that incoming winter storm will impact most of the Midwest. Officials at the Dane County Airport say arriving at least 90 minutes ahead of boarding is best. Give yourself plenty of time to get through security. Some Travelers say arriving even earlier than that is a good thing to do this time of the year. Watching the weather and, and getting here early. You can see the long line behind me here that uh, sometimes you can get here an hour before. I think at Christmas time you got to be here two hours before. Officials also suggest checking in with your airline before your flight if you're worried about potential delays or changes. United, American, and Southwest Airlines have already posted travel waivers for those flying at many U.S. airports. The waivers typically allow passengers to rebook without fees or fare increases. But as we've been saying, it could be tough to get where you want to be over the next few days. Nasty weather is across a wide section of the country. The storm storm that canceled about 200 flights in and out of Seattle's airport this morning is just getting started. The system is now lining up to bring crippling snow and frigid temperatures to major Midwest airport hubs in Detroit, Minneapolis, and Chicago. 165 million Americans coast to coast are in the path of this blast of winter weather, hitting just days before Christmas. If you're flying, be prepared to be delayed, disrupted, and canceled, and uh, Christmas dinner may be at an airport. 
United Airlines alone has issued travel waivers for more than 142 cities because of the storm. Tomorrow and Friday were supposed to be the busiest travel days of the holiday season. Ahead of the winter weather, the Henry Viola Zoo in Madison has announced that tomorrow night and Friday night's light shows are canceled. Officials say extreme temperatures could affect the lights and the strong winds will make clearing walking paths difficult. The zoo says if you already bought tickets for tomorrow night or Friday night, you will be reimbursed. Zoo lights will reopen on Monday the 26th and run every night through the 30th. Before the storm arrives, be sure to download our First Warn Forecast weather app. It has hourly forecasts, school closings, road conditions, and the latest radar. You can download it for free in your phone's app store. Just search WISC weather. We also have everything you need to know to get ready for this storm on our website. Look for a special section. It's right at the top of our homepage on channel3000.com. You'll find the latest forecast, weather alerts, and when the snow is expected to hit your area. We also have a list of businesses that will be closed because of the weather. In other news today and new at noon, the Rock County Medical Examiner's Office has released the names of the people who died following a fire last week. They are identified as 55-year-old Johanna Tabor and 35-year-old Sandra Benoit. The fire happened on Hawaii Drive in Janesville last Friday. Additional testing is underway. The year-and-a-half-long congressional investigation into the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol officially comes to an end today. Deborah Alfarone has more on the House Select Committee's final report from Capitol Hill. The violence. At the, Capitol. the House Committee investigating the deadly assault on the U.S. Capitol is set to release its final report today. I guarantee there will be some very interesting new information in the report and, and even more so in the transcripts that we release. It's a lot that fills in some of the missing pieces. The January 6th Committee's investigation lasted nearly 18 months. During that time, it conducted about 1,200 interviews and collected more than 1 million documents. Congressman Adam Schiff says the documents will include some troubling new details. You'll see why we're concerned that uh, that witnesses may have been interfered with or an attempt to influence them. CBS News' Robert Costa obtained some previously unaired audio from the deposition of President Trump's personal aide, Nick Luna, who told investigators he heard the president tearing up documents. I don't know what the documents were, but there were tearing. But you are aware that at least sometimes the president would tear up notes or piece of paper when he was done with them. Is that correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. The January 6th committee has already voted to recommend to the Department of Justice that federal prosecutors pursue possible criminal charges against former President Trump. If the Justice Department concludes that the evidence is there, that they can prove that he committed crimes beyond reasonable doubt, he should be indicted. Republicans continue to dismiss the bipartisan committee as nothing more than a partisan attack. It was set up as political theater. It's still political theater. Investigations are to be done by law enforcement, not by some political group out of the House. The committee already began handing over records and transcripts to the Department of Justice earlier this month. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Former President Trump responded to the January 6th committee's criminal referrals saying, quote, it strengthens me. There's more to come today on News 3 Now at noon. When we come back, is Elon Musk stepping down as the CEO of Twitter? We'll have details coming up in the Money Watch report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Wisconsin, one of those places where families spend their winters among our frozen lakes and snow-covered hills. With all the fun we're having, it's easy to take for granted how we warm up by the fire or simply adjusting our thermostat. But what if you couldn't warm up so easily? It might be simple to imagine for 60 seconds, but for many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. 
Freezing temperatures aren't just uncomfortable for them. They can be deadly. Make a real difference by providing a hand up for a neighbor in need. No matter the amount, every dollar helps. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. There's no place like home for the holidays, but it isn't quite the same when your house is cold and drafty. We want everyone to have the gift of a warm and comfortable home. So we're going to match the $500 energy tax credit with a $500 discount. But you have to call us before December 31st. 2023 is the year to stop freezing and start saving. So give yourself the gift that keeps on giving because you keep saving. USA Insulation. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. Call today for free information. Call 800-550-5543. Sometimes a cough isn't just a cough, so it's better to be prepared. Keeping Dynax Now handy makes it easy to test. And self-test kits may be reimbursable with no copay through your health plan. With Binax Now, you'll have reliable results in 15 minutes with the self-test that features the same technology doctors use and detects multiple variants, including Omicron BA5. So you can always be prepared with Binax Now, the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Twitter CEO Elon Musk tweeted Tuesday that he will step down as soon as he finds someone, quote, foolish enough to take the job. The reported announcement came after Musk hosted a poll on the social media platform in which more than 57% of users voted for him to leave the position. Musk also said he will run the software and service teams after he steps down. Minnesota company 3M announced it will phase out the manufacturing of so-called forever chemicals and remove them from all products by 2025. The chemicals used in non-stick frying pans, cosmetics, and many other products can cause cancers and other health problems. They're also bad for the environment because they don't degrade over time. And banking giant Wells Fargo has agreed to pay more than $3.5 billion to settle accusations that it charges customers illegal fees and interest on auto loans and mortgages. The bank was also accused of incorrectly applying overdraft fees against savings and checking accounts. The settlement includes a record penalty of $1.7 billion. The other $2 billion is restitution for customers. And that's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Courtney Keeley. Let's see how stocks are faring at midday. At the noon hour, the Dow is up 507 points. The NASDAQ is also up and the S&P 500 is up 55. Our call for action volunteers are in the building as they are every Wednesday afternoon. They're taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. They really do amazing work. So give them a call if you need some help. This is a live look at the call for action studio. A reminder, the volunteers are here every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. You can call for action at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime online at channel3000.com slash call for action. Some good news if you still have a few holiday gifts to check off your list. Christine Lazar tells us about some last minute deals. Tis the season for excess inventory, now sitting on retailer shelves after the supply chain delays of 2021, according to Elaine Kwan of Quantified, a retail consulting firm. So all the product that was supposed to arrive last year for the holiday season arrived for many retailers this Q1, January, February, March. U.S. retailers have been sitting on more than $700 billion in inventory since the summer, 
a hangover from the COVID shutdown shopping frenzy. Money-saving expert Trey Bodge of TrueTrade.com says shoppers can expect deep discounts as retailers scramble to empty their warehouses. So I would be looking for clearance level deals. I would say 40% to 70%. That's the sweet spot for me. Shoppers we spoke with say inflation has them spending less. This year for my nieces and nephews, I did not do birthdays, <laughs> but they totally understood. I know the price that I want to spend, like if it's $500 for the whole family, and then I stick with that budget. Stores everywhere are offering discounts from buy one, get one free to 75% off. And experts warn if you find a good deal, don't wait. With the excess inventory, some retailers have actually pulled back on how much additional inventory they're bringing in. So once the current inventory for some of these products sells out, it may be out for the rest of the year. And these sales are expected to carry over into the new year. Also, some stores offer purchase protection like Target and Walmart. So if you buy something and then see it cheaper at another store, you can get a refund for the difference. In Los Angeles, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS News. Your ag prices are coming up next, and Greg will tell us more about some upcoming weather alert days. And then later this afternoon on Live at 4, we'll talk with CBS News Senior Travel Advisor Peter Greenberg as he looks ahead to this week's challenging time for holiday travelers. That's today on Live at 4. Yours. Happy Happy holidays. Holidays. Wisconsin, one of those places where families spend their winters among our frozen lakes and snow covered hills. With all the fun we're having, it's easy to take for granted how we warm up by the fire or simply adjusting our thermostat. But what if you couldn't warm up so easily? It might be simple to imagine for 60 seconds, but for many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. Freezing temperatures aren't just uncomfortable for them. They can be deadly. Make a real difference by providing a hand up for a neighbor in need. No matter the amount, every dollar helps. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. The holidays are for making memories. And you can count on Honda to help you make them. Whether it's in a capable Ridgeline, adventurous CRV, a rugged passport, or a dynamic pilot. Start making memories of your own with a new Honda during Happy Honda Days. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. sit down and one to get up. Ah! <laughs> on the next Jennifer Hudson show at three. Tomorrow morning, we're keeping you on top of a chain of alert days as the weather will get dicey for the rest of the holiday week. And how long will those strong winds last and how low will those wind chills get? Tune in tomorrow from 430 till seven. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Well, here's some good news. Farm Director Pam Yonke is back today. Hi, friend. Good to see you. Kiddo, happy holidays. Yeah, good to be around at least for a few more days. Uh, this weather is what everybody, including Wisconsin farmers, are focused in on using the available time today to grab whatever supplies they need, which includes maybe extra layers of clothes. Think about it. One of the biggest 
elements of Wisconsin agriculture is water. We need it to feed our livestock or take care of our livestock. We need it to uh, wash our milking parlors down. So water and the availability of not frozen up water is really going to be top of mind today. Hey, if you are one of those folks that I've heard over here at the grocery store talking about uh, the high price of eggs, guess what? I don't think it's going down anytime soon. Wisconsin Egg Production has been announced by the Wisconsin Egg Statistical Service. In the month of October, our egg land in the state was down 3%. In November, it was down 20% compared to a year ago. U.S. egg production as a whole has been flat. The industry is still struggling with avian influenza. Iowa just had another one of their big laying operations that had to be depopulated. And remember, Iowa is the number one egg laying uh, state in the United States. So don't expect that to go away. We do look forward to 2023. Some new leadership faces on our Assembly Agriculture Committee. Representative Travis Trennell from Southwest Wisconsin will take over that uh, lead position, although he's been on the committee for years, and Joan Balweg from Marquezan returning as our Senate Ag Committee Chair. One other news, I guess I'd say news break if it's coming from the farm, babe. I just talked to Eric Hushett, CEO and General Manager of Badger Ethanol. They are going to idle back production tomorrow because the price on the natural gas they need for that process is jumping from $5 to $35 per per MMBTU tomorrow just because of this weather. And I'll bet he's not the only one being impacted. Barrel cheese today up four and a half at 170. 40 pound block cheese up two and three quarters at 202 and three quarters. Double A butter down 12 and a half at 247 and a half per pound. But literally I talked to Eric about an hour ago and Badger Ethanol backing off on production temporarily for tomorrow because that price increase goofs up their margin so badly they can't afford to operate from 5 bucks to 35 bucks an MMBTU tomorrow wow. on natural it, gas. It's going to be a challenging couple oh, of days. That's an understatement man. for sure. Yes. <laughs> All right, Pam, stay All safe. Right, we'll see you tomorrow. Yep. And let's get right over to Greg with the latest on the weather alert days. Greg? Yeah, we have quite a bit. It looks like a busy map right now going on. Really, the main thing to look at is everything starts either 6 p.m. today or 6 p.m. tomorrow for the winter storm out to the east. A winter storm right now for western Wisconsin is 6 p.m. this evening. And then they actually got blizzard warnings now for Iowa and Minnesota just because of the winds coming up there, too. So we'll probably see this change, but overall, it's pretty going to be a pretty busy map over the next 24 hours. We got accumulating snow. Really, if you break it down, once accumulating snow is done with about 6 uh, tomorrow, it's really the blowing and drifting snow and those wind chills are really the main issue with the storm. It's not so much how much snow we're going to get, it's the wind and the factor of it. So that's something to keep in mind of. Once we get through that, we're not going to see much snow as we go into Friday or even Saturday. The winds still are going to be the issue too, blowing it around. Really, if we time out, the first wave is going to be coming through here this evening through western Wisconsin about 7 p.m. and then south central more as you get towards after the evening rush. That'll provide some light snow. The one thing it won't do is the winds yet. They'll still remain light as it pushes through. And then we'll have another wave develop along this front right there come up towards tomorrow afternoon that's when the winds really start cranking up when this thing deepens we might even see wraparound moisture come more and that's more as you get into friday as you notice the winds don't subside the clouds actually kind of break up but still the visibility is going to be poor throughout this whole period today we're going to see temperatures climb up from almost into the teens you see that snow just come into the picture here about five to six out in western areas and then after literally said evening rush you're going to start seeing snow spread across most of the area probably see maybe one to four as we wake up tomorrow morning. The winds really won't start turning around until you get to later tonight. You can start seeing there they turn and then they'll start picking up probably western Wisconsin more later tomorrow morning. More afternoon to Madison, you'll start seeing them pick up. That's when the temperatures will start to fall. That's when the wind chills will start to go fall. And that's when you'll start getting gusts pretty much into the 30s. And then it'll just go up from there. You see by tomorrow night, you see the temperatures just plummet all the way down to negative six and a quarter by 12 noon on Thursday, and that's just the temperature. The windshield is going to be far less than that. So snowfall through tomorrow morning, we're looking at maybe about 2 to 4, and then 4 to 6 as you get towards 8 a.m. out west. Fluffy, light snow, not the heavy stuff. More 2 to 4 as you get more Madison towards 8 and less as you go further south. So we could have some snow cover roads tomorrow morning's commute, but it's not going to be as a heavy, or the wind won't be the problem. The winds tomorrow will start picking up, going to the start all afternoon, but note how strong they get towards Friday even stronger. These are sustained 35 to 40. This doesn't include gusts, which been Friday, you could have gusts into 50, even higher. Once again, it'll create visibility issues, blowing and drifting snow. Those don't
won't subside really to Saturday. Wind chills, we're looking at maybe 30 below by the time we get to Thursday evening. Could be near 40 below overnight and through Friday too. This is not going to be, like I said, something to think about until Saturday till we start seeing some better conditions. Even then, we get to uh, excuse me to Sunday, we see a better shot for Christmas. That's actually going to be not too bad. Still cold, 10 degrees compared to last year. It was 43. And then we moderate those temperatures next week back to where we should be with maybe a little mixed precipitation as we get till closer to New Year's Day or New Year's Eve. Happy winter. It's the first day yes, of winter. <laughs> it is the first day of winter, and it's quite a big uh, surprise. Good thing for everyone. Thank, thank you, Greg. We'll be right back. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Brothers Maine has been family owned since 1938. Some of us were born into this family and others chose to join through the years. Now we know you can't replace family, but you can replace appliances and Brothers Maine is here for you when one breaks down. Our in-house team has delivered ranges to washers, to refrigerators, to hectic households in a pinch, oftentimes the next day. Just because an appliance breaks down doesn't mean you have to. We're not big box, we're Brothers Maine. And we want you to feel like family here. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy? Are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple things therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. Enjoy a stress-free buying experience at Bergstrom Chevrolet. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive 7-day lowest price protection guarantee and 7-day money-back guarantee. Choose a vehicle that's in stock, reserve one that's on the way, or order one just the way you want it. And never pay more than MSRP. Buy with confidence and complete peace of mind from Wisconsin's largest Chevy dealer. Find new roads in a new Chevrolet. Stop in or shop and purchase at BergstromChevrolet.com. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Yeah, we're going to take another quick look at all this storm stuff coming right now. You can see radar right now, just some activity way to the north, but overall everything is to the west. If we look at future track, there comes that light snow that'll move in this afternoon, more this evening. Once again, not a lot of wind with this. It'll be a light, fluffy snow, but still some accumulation overnight. It could create some uh, travel problems by the commute tomorrow morning. You time out, those temperatures will actually rise today to 19, and then overnight they'll actually continue to rise into the mid-20s too with light winds as you see your snow starts to come up. Once again, alert day really tonight, but the really conditions deteriorate tomorrow with the near blizzard conditions, especially as you go into Friday. Very low wind chills, could have power outages. Really, travel is not advised. And if you travel, obviously bring a survival winter survival kit with you too, because you don't want to get stranded in these conditions out there. So that's the thing, one to four inches by tomorrow morning. Winds increasing tomorrow. You look at the 10 day, once we get through Saturday, then things look better. And obviously next week looks much better. We get back to where we should be around 30 degrees with some chances of rain actually as we get towards New Year's. So just be careful out there for the next several days. It's going to be hazardous. All right. Very good advice, Greg. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great afternoon. Hope to see you back here for all the updates today on Live at 4.